To another video on this video we're gonna be going to cover how you can set up your MVC web application with uh, register uh, users and how you can do that and how you can use your own uh, SQL Express edition from your local computer and also you can use the same idea for a remote uh, SQL database so to get started all you need, you're gonna need is uh, Visual Studio. Uh, I have 2015, but it really doesn't matter. Uh, if you have 13, that will work too. And you also need the SQL Management Studio and a copy of Express Edition on your computer to follow this video. So the first thing you need to do is uh, create a new project um, I'm selecting C Sharp Web uh, ASP.NET Web Application, and you can name whatever name you need or you want, and just click OK. Once that is done on your computer, you're gonna have on the right side the Solution Explorer, and here there's nothing special going on on this project. First of all, I haven't done anything. The only thing I did was to delete um, the getting started HTML page that shows up somewhere in this section. That's the only thing I remove. But you don't have to remove it. I just remove it because I don't need it or don't like it. Now the next thing you're gonna do is, I keep clicking here. The next thing you're gonna do is, before you even, well, it's good if you hit, uh, start debugging just to make sure that everything is normal which just means that your website is going to run as default and we should see the basic uh, template uh, from Visual Studio the first time is kind of slow because everything is being uh, built so as you can see there's nothing special using the bootstrap uh, CSS now we're gonna be going to cover on this video is these two options login and register but specifically register not login well we're gonna test it to see if it works but we're gonna concentrate on what's what's gonna happen when you hit register now right now when you clicked on it it should take you to um, the account controller if you see on the top there's an account that's the controller and our action is gonna be to register. Now before you even register a fake or a dummy user, uh, close this out, well, you can leave it there, but I'm gonna stop Visual Studio now. And before you even try to register, we're gonna go back to Visual Studio. And in here under web.config, this is what you, you need to do. Now when you open your first, um, when you create any project, this line or this connection string, default connection, is set up for you by default. And it's pointing to a local DB slash whatever and attach DB file and all that. Now this is okay, but I want to use a remote database or set up my system for easily changing my connection string to our remote database so what you need to do is you're not gonna use this default connection but you are gonna use the same uh, name attribute or the value of it or for this key just copy and paste the name and add this connection string and this connection string I found that you know if you don't remember how to do this or what it means you can go to this uh, website uh, connectionstrings.com and this particular case I'm looking at 2012 but they're all almost similar and for me on my SQL when I did the installation 
I end up using uh, Windows authentication. So that is the reason why I have chosen this connection string. Now, if you don't have, or if you did mix authentication on your SQL database, then you need to select the top uh, connection string, which you need to pass the user and the password. This one, since it's uh, Windows only, this is what's gonna work for me. So make sure you pay attention on um, what authentication you have on your SQL Express when you did the installation. And if you don't know, you can just try one and it'll just tell you that, you know, you don't have security access to it. But that's the key thing to remember. Either Windows authentication or mix, then you can pass this connection string. So I'm gonna leave this connection string on the description so it'll be easier for you to find it. But once you have that connection string, go back to Visual Studio and here, what I'm saying here is to the system, we're gonna select the dot means that we're gonna look our computer's instance of the database. And our instance name is SQL Express. That's it. If you, when you did your installation and you change your, your instance name, you need to change it here. If not, you'll never connect to it. So make sure you pay attention on this detail. Now the next one is up to you. Database equals, you can name it here, your database, anything you want. It's, this is not a requirement like to have my database A-U-T-F-H. You can change it to anything. Uh, in my case, since I'm using Windows authentication, I'm using the connect, trusted connection equals true. And this provider name is just the namespace that we're gonna be using. And all I did was copy and paste it from the top, from the original connection string. So once you have this done, then you can continue and register your website, like users and login. So in the future, once we move to our remote desktop, our remote SQL database, all you're gonna do is change this uh, to point it to a different, to like a domain or an IP address. And that's all you have to do um, to, to make changes. So once you have the connection string, uh, you can move on to the next step. I'm gonna close this guy. Now what we're gonna do is, we're gonna launch, I'm gonna close this connection string uh, for now. And we're gonna go to the website. This is the basic uh, template. And we're gonna click register. I'm gonna minimize this. And we're gonna try to see both uh, the Solution Explorer and the website. So you can see what's happening at, at the moment. So if I refresh right now, I'm gonna try that again. Now we got a connection. Failed to retrieve data from requested. Okay. Cannot open database. I guess the login is false. So I'm gonna log out. I had done it before and I deleted it. So probably it's going crazy for that reason. But here we go. There's nothing here. But Visual Studio or MVC will automatically create a database for you even though you haven't done it. So I'm just gonna use my email, some password, I don't know what, some super password. So, now you need to have a capital letters and a number and some uh, others, uh, like a star or the pound sign, anything that is not a letter or number. And then we're gonna hit register. And if, if everything works fine, whoop, looks like I haven't, my passwords don't match. We'll try again. So the first time we click register, it should be really slow but that is the first time 
only and that is because right now uh, MVC is creating the database for you the tables and er all the connections so as you can see at the top it says hello and it has my email address and it has log off remember before it said log in so this is something really basic to start your uh, web application make sure your users can register and log in and log off now we don't have any sp any uh, pages that require authentication but this is the first step on basic authentication on your website now we're gonna turn into uh, uh, management studio now we're gonna do is a refresh and as you can see we have a new database and this name comes from our our web that config so whatever name you choose here my database authentication is going to show up here so if we drill down into the tables now you're going to see what uh, MVC is doing in the background this is why it took a while for this page to go into the login uh, state so as you can see we have a bunch of tables now now the only one that we're going to cover on this video is this one ASP net users and if you click right click on it select top 1000 rows now you're gonna see the details of this user so the first one is a lawn ID now the email uh, there's a few columns that we're not using at this moment but the basic ones is email and password hash and we got other columns that we could use depending on what you need in the username in this case is using the same email address as the as the username now the password you cannot I guess we cannot see what I actually did because it's hash so that means it's one way yeah, we cannot reset it ourselves or change it over here we have to reset it completely uh, so this is the first thing we need to check that this works uh, the next thing this is about rows we this should be empty because we haven't set up anything about rows we're gonna check other this other table it's also blank uh, claims should all of this should be blank and blank so that's that's it for this video we're only gonna talk about this the first one now we're gonna go back I think it's still running yeah it's still running we're gonna go and log off so now we can register or log in so we're gonna do the login and we're gonna use our email and our super password and click login okay so now you see how fast that went in so it did compare this hash with our password and it went in so this is nice about MVC this new template on Visual Studio you don't have to know a lot of authentication but this is your basic way of uh, authenticating your users on your website now if I click register and let's say I want to use the same path the same email same email but different password so I'm gonna try some other password and we're gonna see if the system is checking for emails address if see if this is unique okay so as we can see here it's checking if you already have registered with this email address so the name is obviously already taken we're not we're not even asking for the name here but it's giving us back the error so this means that we can add another text box in here and ask for a name instead of popping in the email 
for the name and the email address in the email so that's something to look at um, so this is good to start uh, the next video we're gonna talk about how you can hide different pages on your controller and actually I'm gonna go over it right now because it's, uh, it's pretty simple so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shut down Firefox turn off start debugging and we're gonna go to we're gonna create a new controller so you right click on controllers add and hit controller and in here I'm gonna select the MVC5 controller empty click add and here we're gonna call it uh, members so it should give us one action which is index and we're gonna right click on view and go to app view and we'll leave default everything and just hit add and that's it so this is gonna be our our members only page so here we can pretend that we only want members to see here or people who actually I have registered so what we're gonna do here now is well I don't want people to see this page if they don't register on, on my website so here at the controller level or the class level all you need to do is add an attribute called authorize as you can see this will restrict the users so I'm gonna add that attribute and then I'm gonna click Firefox to debug it on, on using Firefox and without logging in I'm gonna try to log into that controller called members and we're gonna see what happens okay so now I'm gonna do slash now if we go to home it should be fine but if I go to members members as you can see it's not allowing me to log into the index action or the home page of the controller as you can see it's sending me back to the login uh, page so that's a really way a uh, really easy way to uh, make sure your users do register and authenticate on your uh, site so in the next uh, video we're going to talk about about how you can create roles because if you saw on the tables there's users roles and roles so we're going to talk about how we can do that in the current template uh, of account there is no uh, way of doing that by default so that means you have to kind of code it into your uh, web application it's not here so in the next video, I'm going to show how you can create roles uh, using this same uh, account.